and this is the Heiau Kalai Okamanu and we have done a cruising clip from here before and what this means is the cape of the bird or that's one way of translating it now Deborah Kapule, who was the wife of the last king of Kauai, King Kaumualii, she was an early convert to Christianity. The missionaries arrived in 1820 on the boat the Thaddeus from New England. They were from the ABCFM, which is the American Board of Commissioners of Foreign Ministries. And being that his wife was a Christian, they abandoned the old traditional religious system, which basically was their political system as well. So she used this as a pig pen. Now I'm taking you to explain what this rock is that I have in other videos. This is Holo Holo Ku, and it is the birthstone area. It's also part, again, of the Wailua Nui Aho Ano complex. And here we have noni fruit, a medicinal plant. These are the birthstones, and it was said that if you were born at Holo Holo Ku, you were considered a chief. And there's only one other place like this in the islands. It's on Oahu in the center of the island and somebody would lean their back against the woman who was hapai the pregnant woman and this was one way that they would give birth and then as you can see there are many cracks and crevices and as you can see there are cracks in this cave-like opening here they would take the pico the umbilical cord wrap that in tea leaf the la e la la e and stick it into the cracks of the wall it was said if it was bothered or molested by a rat that the child would grow up to be a thief however if it remained untouched the child would grow up to be a noble person a noble chief And this is Holo Holo Ku. It starts. And up there is an old cemetery a different type of cemetery next stop we're just going to head over to the Wailua river ramp to get a view of the river and a view of Waiale Ale the wettest spot on earth for lay. They'll turn brown. They make a beautiful lay. Now the word Wailua means two waters and you can check out the Wailua Falls to see how the water, the headwaters come together and form the largest river and the only navigable river in our state. And this is one of the Kamani Haole tree. You can see it's got a much different ano ano seed. So this is a 
side tributary of Wailua Nui Ahuano River, the sacred Great Wailua. And as we look across the Kahawai or the river, deep in the back is Mount Waiale Ale. That is the wettest spot on earth. It is the main volcanic mountain on our island. Its highest peak, the Vecu, is over 5,400 feet high. And down past where the kayakers are, there's the stone in the middle that's the sibling of the twin that was caught slashing the banana trees down by the kahuna for the chief of Wailua. The twins were again sent here to slice down all the magical banana plants as to take away the power or the mana from the ruling chief. This is the most sacred area in all of Hawaii. Number one, because it is Vaivai Loa. Vaivai means fresh water in Hawaiian, and it's also the word for wealth, because depending on what side of the island you're on, or what island you're on, if you are on a leeward side of an island, or if you're an island on the leeward side of a bigger island, water was scarce. Now, it is said that bull sharks are known to live here. And this is the place where the story of Cavello, the half God, half man, who was, let me rephrase that, the half man, half shark. He would wear a tea leaf cape to hide the shark mouth on his back. But in order to assure some safety prior to going in the water, you throw a tea leaf in, and if the tea leaf floats gently, lanamalie, that means that the shark was not present. But if that tea leaf disappeared, the kapuna say, do not go in the water. And the same holds true for any rivers up in the mountains or waterfalls that you go into. You always wanna throw in a tea leaf. If it disappears, that marks the presence of the kia'i, the guardian of the kahawai, the guardian of the river, or the vailele, the waterfall. And if the water was brackish, it meant that she was there. If the water was clear and gentle, it was okay to take a dip in the nice cold waters of Malka. This is the beautiful Kahawai o Wailua Nui Ahoano. And actually, across the street from here is Coco Palms. This is the side where the lagoon began. And they had a small zoo type of area with monkeys, parrots. And these are where the bungalows or the cabanas were that if you watch the movie Blue Hawaii, I believe that they were in the movie. So this is the side view. And as you may know from previous videos, it is it has been sold to a corporation that's gonna turn it back into another resort instead of marking it as a historical site because of its pre-contact history and of course its post-contact history in which Elvis made it famous for modern times. And this is the beautiful Wailua Falls, which feeds into the Wailua River. Mahalo Nui Loa. Thank you all so very much for joining 
this huaka'i, this adventure of Wailua Nui Aho Ano and its temple complex. As we say in Hawaiian, Ahui Ho, until we meet again. Malamapono, take care and aloha.